Hi everybody, this is David from Flintskin Studios and Assemble WP, and today I'm going to show you how to create some quick and dirty image buttons, whether it be in Elementor Pro or Elementor Free. So let's just jump across to the back end and start building these. So already have these in place here, and we're just going to start some from scratch. So I'm going to have myself a new section with three columns, and I'm just going to bring in a button into place, and I'm going to force justify that. And then go to the styling tab and let's just quickly rattle through some of those styling settings. I'm going to go for Lato font, 36 pixels, transform it to uppercase, and then let's get on with the colors. So for the text color, we're going to leave it as white. And for our background color, we're going to actually set the transparency to zero. And then we'll now hover one. Again, we're going to set the text to white and our background color to black. But let's bring the transparency down somewhat so we can now have our hover overlay. So now we need to jump to the advanced tab where the first thing we want to do is give ourselves a CSS class. And I'm going to call mine image button, which we'll use in a second when we come to the additional CSS. So now we move to the background and we're going to apply ourselves a normal background image. So let's bring the image into play. And we're going to position that to center center. We're going to have a no repeat, and we're going to set the size of cover. Okay, so while we're here, we can also play with some other effects as we can change the image on hover. So let's actually select a separate image for our other effect. So here we go. And there we have it in place. At the moment, we can't really see much because they're tiny. So let's just actually replicate this across three columns. Get rid of the other two, which was solely there for helping in the style in place. And now we can actually update and preview. So let's remember within our advanced tab under element style we gave our css class of image button so we're going to use that now so let's just take a copy of that let's now preview the page itself and let's open up our customizer so there's our little buttons hiding down the bottom so from the customizer we need to go to additional css which should be available in every single theme so from here we can close this little notification and we're just going to add a dot and then our image button. And what we need to do is we need to target the A tag within this. So image button A, open up our curly brackets. And now we're just gonna add some padding. And currently 40% top and bottom, and zero left and right. But we need to declare the important statement to override the current settings. And there we go. There's our simple overlay image button. So quite simple, one widget. We've got a title in place, and if we wanted to actually break this into two lines, we can do that from the back end. So if we just publish this, close down the view, and go back to Edit with Elemental. And then when we go to this line here, if we wished, we could actually put a line break in place, like so. Just a simple BR tag between the two, and we now have a click me. Now, obviously you have to adjust for each and every single element that you're working with, but there we go. It's a very simple way of converting a normal button into an image button with the text overlaid up at the top, with all the hover functions that you can have with a background image and the button itself, including shadows, etc., etc., all with a one widget with no negative margin overlays of old multiple widgets or any weird J queries being added to it. So hopefully once again that you've learned a little bit more about CSS and how we can use that with the basic Elementor widgets in Elementor 3 to create some of these wonderful effects.